Hi everyone, welcome to the 34th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about residual sum of squares, mean square error, and the root mean square error. Well, as we have predicted using the linear regression, salary for the different years of experience, but we have simultaneously found that the value deviates from the like from my actual value. The value for suppose this three of, of experience will be around six to seven lakhs, but the prediction values will be 6 to 7 lakh but the actual value for this uh, this th 3 years of experience will be around 6 lakhs or below 6 lakh so this is the difference between my actual value and my predictive predicted value and in case of the ideal case scenario the difference between my actual value and the predicted value will be zero in that case it means that all these points will lie on my linear regression this line which i have created so let's calculate so let's first visualize how do we uh, calculate the residual sum of error and mean squared error followed by root mean squared error. Suppose this is our graph. So first of all, what we will do for this like one year, around one year of experience, this is my actual value and this is my predict. The, the dot in red is my actual value and the blue line where it is, is my predicted value. So what it will do, it will get the dis uh, difference between this, this and the value which is here. And then it, get, it takes the square of this. Then it takes a uh, value of this for around 1.5 years. 1.5 years. What is the value? It's around 4 lakh. So as per my model, it is predicting 4 lakh. But as per my like my actual value, it is around around 5 lakhs. Around 5 lakhs. So again, what it will do? It will uh, take a difference of this this value and this value the actual and the predicted value and it will do the process for each and every point this the points at present in my distribution the residual sum of square is nothing but the square of all the difference from my uh, predicted value with my actual value so it will take rss means uh, residual sum square is equals to from 1 to n and it will take the sum square now what will be the, my mean square error once we get the residual sum of error, I need we need to calculate the mean squared error. We mean squared error is nothing but the whatever uh, we get the residual sum of error, it will be divided my uh, with my number of values and then uh, root mean square. So whenever we are predicting a value in any competition or in any production scenario, our RMSC is the value based on which we can say okay my model is this much perfect. One is through score and through RMSC also root mean squared error. The less the root mean square is the better is your model so let's implement this through python so we already know our value for the white s excess we have already created so let's give rs uh, residual sum of square is equals to so first of all we'll see here what is my white s white s is this value and why what is my regression y print what is the value which we have predicted? Y bread feature space. Okay, so this is my value. So we will calculate through Python. So y underscore test. So we need to get the residual sum of squares, right? So y test minus oh. y test is my actual value and y red test is my what we are predicting and then we need to give the square squares like we need to give the square and then also we need to it will take the sum of all the points okay so if we give here what is residual sum of square which is equal to somewhere around huge now after that we need to get the mean of this squared error residual sum so msc the mean squared error is equals to np dot mean again you take the same thing so what is the value of my mean squared error is yes. 23700 this is the amount now the actual value, the root mean square error, RMSE is equal to NP dot SQRT of MSE. 
So what is my root mean square? So this is the value through which like the value uh, of the salary where it determines the model. This is the difference. Less it becomes, the better is my model. So in this way, we can like analyze using this uh, diagram uh, of the salary, years of experience versus salary and this formulas uh, root uh, residual sum square, then mean squared error and our root mean square error. We can determine how, uh, my, how much my model is accurate and how much it's efficient. So thanks a lot for watching the video. In case if you think there is some uh, like scope for enhancement, please post in the comment section. If you feel this video is helpful, please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. Thank you.